What are your targets for this season? Right now, my table was not good enough last season, so playoffs are a must in my eyes. We need to be going up. We got relegated two years ago now. It's time to get back to League One and all the way up from there. Welcome back to another episode of Warsaw FC with me, Murph. Hope I find you all well. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and ring that bell for notifications. So, we've played through January since the last episode, and we'll go through those fixtures in a moment, but first, we've brought in two newbies, both on loan. First off, Charlie Cresswell comes in. After Baba Fernandez goes back to Nottingham Forest, we decided we need someone else, something a bit fresh, bring someone else in, Another Leeds boy comes in, 18-year-old Charlie Cresswell. I reckon he can do a good job, man. Like he got some good bits around him, man. Like at age 18 as well, with an option to get by him afterwards as well. This boy looks like something for the future. So, we're hopeful, man. He looks pretty good. So that's the first one. The second one comes in with a uh, link up with Tottenham Hotspur. We brought this guy in as a backup for the wings. Dillian Markamandi, Markandi, Markandi. Yeah, I can't, I can't pronounce it, but he's very much going to be a backup for us, really. Just to give a bit of cover, to give the other boys a bit of a break if need be, sort of thing. He can do a job. He's got a bit of speed about him as well, which what we need on that wing as well. So we can bring him on late on. Has that speed, has that dribbling, get around the defence and play ball across the box. So it was a decent little option for us. So we're going to see how this one goes for us. Fingers crossed. We can add some depth to us and do some damage on it. So in the last episode you saw us, we had that 5-3 victory against third place Carlisle. I thought things were on the up, especially after we beat Morecambe away from home 5 0. Absolute battering we gave them. A Robinson own goal from their own team with Clark, McDonald, and Hins battering two past them. Things are looking good. We thought we had two games back to back where we scored five goals. Surely things are going to get better from here. So then, start losing again. <laughs> a loss at home against Crawley, a team that we did so well against last, like, earlier on in the season. We could get the better hand of them. German bagging twice. So another defeat. Just rolled straight into another home defeat as well. I don't know what happened when the game was old them here, really. We just didn't get we just didn't get off and go in. We had a few injury problems. As you can see, it's a very rested team compared to normal. Considered up from the right back. Sadly, at age in 35 rolls, something to left back as well. So we had a few problems, tried a few different bodies out, it just didn't work off for us and got another defeat. It's not a nice seeing. And since then, it's been very, again, very hit and miss. A 3 free draw against Port Vale. A side that we've beaten previously. Hins again, they're fine in there. Two goals for him. But again, you can see, like, we didn't get everyone playing in their main positions. Cresswell's came in now. But we didn't have to consider starting this one. But Clark came right back. So we've had a few problems. So we've not had our full team for quite a while. So only for today's fixture, we might be back to normal. Going to this one. 4-3 victory against Crawley, very good game, late on, hold them with the penalty to get the winner for us. We probably should have done it a lot much sooner than that really, but again, they had a very good game as well, man. End-to-end -end stuff, incredible match to watch. And then, our final two for today's episode, we got bad 5-2 <laughs> by Mansfield. Again, do not want to know what happened here. We just haven't, we haven't been following the form at all. We start playing well and then things just drop off again. Again, we've put Casella in right back due to injury problems. Norman was just coming back, so he ain't fully fit. Gordon wasn't fully with it, so he's been rested for a few games. We just can't seem to get the ball out of our feet. On the plus side, though, last match, Tullet came back. We had him in that right striker role instead, trying in there. Should have been 2-0, man, but late on, Cavalio got one back for him. It's good enough side one, literally, before that as well. So, a good win for us, which now sees us in the table. Still seeing top. Top the table by four points. We're just about holding on to it. Hins is flying the goal charts as well now. Him and Josh Gordon absolutely smashing it. Gordon now 12 goals for season. Hins on 13 goals. And then I wonder I'm going to do the semi boys out. He's not even the top list, is he? He isn't bagging many goals, so I think it's going to be a case of he's going to be dropped most of the time our Greenwood is. Give me Hins and Gordon starting on top. Going to today's fixture. 
So going into today's game, this is how we're going to line up. Rose starts in net with Norman, Morgan, Cresswell and Melbourne at the back. Doherty, Kinsella, Nemecha, Tulloch, Gordon and Hins. Probably has to start strongest time at 11 in my eyes really at this point. And against Cheltenham, we need all three points to keep pushing for that league title in our first season here at Warsaw. Let's see how we get on. Right then, here we go then. A big match. We're at home again though, back at the bank stadium. We need to be taking maximum points in this one. We need all three points. Get that push top of the table. Thomas swings the ball into the box here. Raglan, oh, he's pretty sure of the bar for him. Promising start for Cheltenham. We don't want to see that, but that five at the back has been very hard to break down today. We need to come out positive. I'm trying to bag some goals early on. It's a throw from Melbourne. He finds Hins into Kinsella. Smash up his goal. We'll find Gordon, and there we go. 1 0 Warsaw already. Gordon's 17 for the season in all competitions. He's absolutely flying. He's loving life right here now at the Bank Stadium. 1 0 to Warsaw. Great bit of player as well. In the architect, great pass to Cancelo, flicks it to the back stick, and Gordon heads it down, call as you like. 1 0 Warsaw. It's a free kick for Cheltenham. Big ball up field. Smash it straight through to Smith here. Who could and does put it away. I don't know where Rose is going there positioning. He's 12 for the season. Sam Smith makes it equal. 1 1. After no maritime at all. You hate to see it, it's a Warsaw boy. The line's just too far up here. It gives Smith so much room to run into. It's just it's placed at home so easily. 1-1. One, one. I mentioned now a free kick. So we go over. Tulloch with the flick. Oh, he's put it past the keeper. Tulloch's four for the season. Back from injury. He's been so key when he's been playing for us, but he's a long time out on the sidelines. I think it was almost three months out, so him being back something massive for the club. Tulloch pops in that back stick. 2-1 Warsaw just before half time. Take that lead into half time now. We'll go for the three points in the second half. There we go, then into half time. We have three of the cards I've just noticed as well, so we've got to try and not get stuck in so much in the second half, really. Keep the boys' heads nice and cool. Take away the three points come the second half. So our first highlight of the second half here, finally. It's up to 62 minutes, so it's been a very quiet affair. There's Raglan, finds Tosla, back to Raglan. Can't really get the ball to field. Creswell heads it forward. Nemecha, Dowdy, big ball field. Hidden surely. Oh, he went for the chip and he got blocked. So unlucky. Could have been it there, 3-1. We go straight into another highlight now with Melbourne. He finds Tulloch. Back to Melbourne. Ball into the box. He finds Hins. Hins again. Tulloch. And he's just smashed it all the way across. And it's going to go straight for a throw in. So a few minutes to go. We've gone all out with the changes here. Greenwood. I said MB. And Bates all come on now for the last few minutes here. Let's try and push on. Just keep this lead up. We go straight into a highlight. Norman just throws the ball straight to Cheltenham. Awful throw in. Bates picks it up. Finds Norman. Morgan now. Don't lose the ball yet, lads. I was to say that, put the ball field and lose it straight away. Norman re gets it. And the match again just saw the passing be so sloppy at times. It's going to be switched straight through now for Cheltenham with the equaliser. And what a save from Rose. Luckily, Smith is offside. But it's a big save from Rose to keep us in the game. Five minutes to go. Cheltenham on the attack now. Long. Plus the ball to Melbourne. We counter it. Melbourne can find a big pass to Greenwood. But Hinz to the side of him. Not Hinz. Gordon. Hinz has gone off. Or Greenwood. Big switch across, Norman. Just lost the ball. But his passing is Gordon's through. Oh, he's going offside. What a goal that would have been if it counted. It's a great ball over the top. No, it's straight on the volley there as well from Gordon. It's been disallowed for offside. We go into the last 40 seconds of the game with a highlight. Norman, doubt he's onside the pitch here. That's kind of worrying. All cleared. Press well. He finds Bates. Into our side there, eh? He's drives across the pitch now. Try to Norman. With 20 seconds to go. Surely he's going to job done here. Norman's trying to swing it in. He's looking for a win. The dart is back on the pitch. Back to Norman again. Front stick. Oh, Gordon puts it straight into Griffith's hands. But surely this kick's going to be the end of it now. And it's going to be big three points for Warsaw. As I say, that on the attacks earlier. Gordon, Nemecha. Just waiting for everybody to blow his whistles. Doherty plays it all the way back out of the Rose in goal. Warsaw taking the time to keep possession. And that's it. A big, big three points for Warsaw again today. It's going to see us flying still top of the table. Love to see it. Great work from the boys. Hopefully now we're going to get a look at the table and how things are looking. Look at that. Leighton Orient behind us on 55 points. Seven points clear now of Orient. Things are looking good for Warsaw. A great win at the Bank Stadium. Another big win for Warsaw, still top of the table, flying on the points difference now. 
slowly getting away from Leighton Orient, which is good to see. Seven points clear of them boys now. He's going to push on for the league title in our first season in charge of Warsaw. You can see from the player stats there, the goals are flying. The manager performance by me is A+. Plus. Uh, it's a win-win. Everything's going great here at Warsaw. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. Hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach 100 in the next couple of months. So please get involved and do that. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.